I could say something. Oh my God, I could say something. But I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, Chief 31 Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. So apparently, Matt Reeves, the Batman, recently had a test screening, and the reactions for the film have been absolutely astounding, amazing. People are absolutely loving what Matt Reeves is doing. Bro, I'm super excited. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific. Right? The Batman has had a three-hour-long test screening. Oh, my God. People who claim to have, to have uh, seen have given incredible reviews claiming that it's the best DC movie. Okay, we've heard that before. Uh, calls it a very dark, scary horror movie. Oh, my God. Erection time. Woo! Uh, Zoe Kravitz and Paul Dano getting praise. No surprise there. Shocking twist at the end of the film. That has that has me very curious. I'm, I'm curious to see what the shocking twist probably is going to be some fucking M. Night Shyamalan twist. Or probably Ben Affleck's Batman is going to appear at the end of the film. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not shitosity. But uh, hearing this news, hear, hearing this reaction, it's got me pumped, bro. I'm both frightened and aroused. Now, Matt Reeves is a fantastic director. Obviously, if you've seen uh, DC Fandom from last year when he talks about his film, you can see the passion that comes from his mouth. He, he loves the character. He loves the world of DC Comics. And I think, and then I think he's going to bring a very unique, dark, moody tone to the film, which I love. It's going gonna, it's gonna to feel almost Nolan-esque, but comic book at the same time. And I think uh, Matt Reeves can handle that balance. Uh, Robert Pattinson is going to be uh, amazing as Batman. I think he's going to kill it. Obviously, I don't think he's going to be as good as Ben Affleck, who's my favorite Batman, or Michael Keaton. But I think he'll be in that conversation as one of the great Batmans of all time. I'm super excited to see uh, what, he's do what he does with the role because I think he's super underrated. Uh, Zoe Kravitz, mwah, she's beautiful. I think she's going to kill it as Catwoman. I think she's going to probably be the most comic accurate catwoman that we've had i know we haven't seen the film but i'm just you know from the trailer that we've seen and just from a gut feeling i think i think she's gonna be amazing i think she might be the best catwoman of all time uh pulp fiction gimp with uh riddler paul dano i'm not a fan of the i'm not a fan of the look i'm not really a big fan of the of the design i think that's gonna evolve over the film obviously i don't think i don't think this is gonna be like the final look that he has for the rest of the film but i'm super excited for paul dano paul dano is an amazing amazing actor and i'm super excited to see what he does with that role and obviously this film is gonna be uh loosely based or taking um homage from the long halloween and batman ego two great fantastic books if you have not read the Long Halloween or Batman Ego, go read those books, like because they really delve deep into the into the um, the world and the psyche of Batman and, and, and the villains and stuff like that. And it's really cool. It's really exciting, and the art is phenomenal. And like I said, I love the fact that Matt Reeves is taking so much inspiration from the comic books. Can you believe that? Can you believe a director is actually taking inspiration from the source material? I know it's shocking, right? Because most directors don't ever fucking do that. I don't know why. Because you have 80 years worth of material right there in front of you. So why not just use it to base off of whatever you're going to do for your film? But again... <laughs> it sounds so simple, right? But I love the description. I think I think this film is gonna be really uh have that seven David Venture David Fincher vibe to it. I think it's gonna have that Todd Phillips Joker vibe to it, which absolutely works for the Batman because I want a dark, gritty, grungy, holy shit, hold my hand because I'm fucking scared to watch this movie by myself. Like that's the kind of movie that I want to see from a Batman movie. And I think and I, and I think Matt Reeves is gonna nail it perfectly. I'm super excited to see what he has in store for us. And uh yeah, man. Like, fuck it, a David Fincher vibe. A, a, a David Fincher 7 mixed with fucking, uh, with Zodiac. Oh, my God. Like, bro, <laughs> take my money right now. And, and again, this is all just rumor. I don't know how true this is. But uh, if it's true, bro, oh, my God. Take my money now, please. <laughs> Super excited for this movie. I think Robert Pattinson is going to be amazing. I think, I think he's going to knock it out of the park. And uh, yeah, man, the Batman, we are not ready. Probably uh, we're going to get a trailer for our DC Phantom in October. 
super excited about that. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, love you guys. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this news? Do you believe the test screenings? If you do, uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you, are you excited? Are you not excited? Did this get you more hype for Matt, Matt Reeves the Batman? Or are you still on the fence? Like, eh, wait and see. Uh, but uh, me personally, I'm excited. I think Matt Reeves is going to deliver something truly special for us Batman fans. And Robert Pattinson, don't fuck this up. I, I know you won't because I, I think you you're going to do a good job. But don't fuck it up. <laughs> all right? Love you guys. Stay safe. Thank you for all the support. And uh, truth out.